What's happening, road dogs and highway hounds? This is a bit of a response video to Dan the Man yesterday, but it's also a video I've been thinking about making. And uh, it's going to be a little combination. So Dan, Dan the Man, thank you for your comment yesterday. It kind of sparked me into doing it. But right there is the old homestead. It's in the town of Rock Island, Illinois, where you hear uh, Rock Island Line. It's a mighty good road to Rock Island Line. It's the road to ride. And we're putting new siding on it. It was getting pretty ratty. But I'm selling my house, and I'm going to buy lit Bit or Litecoin with it. And then, man, and the man yesterday said it's... I can't remember exactly what he said, but it was something along the lines of, shouldn't put all your eggs in one basket, which I agree, it's not the best investment advice, you know, so I'm not recommending anybody, you know, you do what you own. Do, do your own thing. I'm just telling you what I'm doing. But I've got 16 years worth of equity in there. I'll leave it at that as to how much Litecoin I'm going to buy. It doesn't matter. But the, the, the thing is, that is how much I believe in Litecoin. <clears throat> And uh, I don't know how long you guys have been involved with Bitcoin and Litecoin, but uh, Bitcoin came out and I started paying attention in about 2011, right about the, light t the, the time that Litecoin came out. And uh, actually it would have been a month after Litecoin came out because uh, Litecoin came out in October of 2011, I believe, and now uh, and uh, sorry, traffic. I'm not a multitasker, Ooh, but I'm going this way. Hold on, dudes. Hold on. <laughs> Good day to be crazy. But anyway, <laughs> I don't know if you heard the tire squealing or not. But uh, so anyway, Litecoin. Yeah, I'm buying, I'm selling my house. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it into Litecoin. The thing is, where are you gonna put your money today? Do you want to put it in the dollar that's been losing money for a hundred years? No. I don't really want to hold cash. All right. And like Bitcoin, I became interested in Bitcoin and soon after Litecoin. At about the same time. And uh, now that would have been two years. Sorry, folks. 2011 Litecoin came out. I, I, start, I got interested in 2013. But anyway, it was a revolutionary idea. And it was more of a, uh, a reaction against the uh, 2009 crisis. And because the government came out in 2013, the United States government came out and recognized it. It made me stop and take note. They recognized it and they say, you can, you know, they'd say you can hold it. Now I'm in, you know, they say I can't hold it. I'm gonna say, well, come get it, sucker. And I'll go to jail for it, I don't care. Uh, I think it's a good thing. But anyway, sorry, a little scatterbrain. But uh, it's not a it's not necessarily a good investment to put all your eggs in one basket like that. But like Andreas Antonopoulos, he believes in Bitcoin and he and he does that. And I trust my skills. And, and it's my skills, and hopefully your skills, are what you bank on that are going to carry you through. 
and you develop your skills and your work ethic and what you're able to do and and it's not the only asset that I hold you know it's not my only form of value but it's a big chunk the probably the biggest chunk and uh, I want to help Litecoin succeed that's why I'm making these videos I really am a very private person and uh, I don't like everybody knowing my business but nobody's out there pounding the drum for Litecoin but me and the thing is I'm not that unique of an individual so I know there's other people out there that believe in it like I do and so I'm making the videos to uh, to let you guys know that you're not alone you know the, the Litecoiners we need a place to uh, gather and, and this is it so uh, yeah but uh, it's you know it's not I, I'm willing to lose all of it everything that I'm putting in there I'm willing to lose it and I, I know uh, cryptocurrency itself is a uh, a uh, risky environment but to me Litecoin is the best one out there. I'm a simple man. I'm simple-minded, and uh, that's why. And I like Litecoin because it's simple. If you want people like me to invest in your cryptocurrency, you're gonna have to keep it simple. You're not. I don't. You know. I get. I get it. I get it enough. And I don't like computers. And I get it enough that I can. I can secure and spend and do what I need to do with my Litecoins. I would like to see a nickel coin. I'll say that again. And maybe something, that nickel coin, 195th of a Bitcoin. And uh, maybe that could be your Ethereum deal. And it, and it could, you know, if you have these smart contracts and you want to do that, then, you know, they could transfer your Bitcoins and Litecoins as well. But I think the gold and silver's here it's going to stay I'm I'm doing what I can I'm doing my part I'm investing it I'm taking risk I'm taking risk by putting my mug out there I'm taking risk with my finances I'm taking risk risk with my retirement but uh, I believe in Litecoin and uh, like Andrea Santanopoulos says you know Bitcoin and probably Litecoin maybe aren't as good as Ethereum in the uh, design aspect of it. But I think they're good enough. And that's enough for me. Because Ethereum may be designed well, but it was released hideously, right? Terribly. Giving 70 to 80% to insiders. You know, and all these people pounding the drum for Ethereum guarantee you they, they bought in at the pre-sale and they're holding thousands waiting for it to spike but what you gotta realize is the truck drivers the construction workers the uh, laborers people know what's going on what's been going on with Joseph Lubin the uh Wall Street hedge fund manager, former Goldman Sachs employee, buying off presidents and stuff like that. And and we're not going to fall for it anymore. And uh, I think the only reason that Ethereum is at $11 or wherever it's at now, I don't even pay attention anymore, is because they did that pre-sale and they got $60 million in Litecoins. Joseph Lubin is a hedge fund manager. Look up hedge fund manager manipulation, manipulation or Jim Cramer manipulation to get a frame of reference for what a hedge fund manager does and how they think. They rig markets. They make markets move. So when uh, the Dow was hacked and, the, and it should have dropped down to nothing, they bought in. Who in the heck would buy in to Ethereum at that point in time? Not me. I mean, maybe a little bit, but... And then, and then my video on uh, who bought all the Bitcoin in 2013. That 
market, I don't know, man, it's just, I'm sorry, I'm starting to ramble, but, yeah, Litecoin is not, I, I think it's a great investment, actually, I wouldn't do it if I didn't believe that, then I'm putting my neck on the line, and if I lose my butt, oh well, but I've been buying it since it was at $40, and now it's at 4 if it goes down to one, I'll keep buying it, you know, because gold and silver are in the DNA of money. So is nickel, and so is copper. After nickel coin comes out, hopefully that Ethereum uh, could be if if they can humble themselves and say, yeah, you know, let's just do it right, or somebody else come along and make a nickel coin that's Ethereum. 195th of a Bitcoin. And don't try and take over Bitcoin, but try and make it stronger and work with it like Litecoin does. Litecoin is one fourth of a Bitcoin. How much is a, a Litecoin worth to me? It's worth one fourth of a Bitcoin. How much is a Bitcoin worth? It's worth four Litecoins. It's pretty simple that way. And that's why I'm buying Litecoin now is because it's way below 124th. And so, to me, this is a revolution. It's a political thing. It is a, uh, it's a statement. It's, it's standing against the banks, standing against the powers of be. It's a transfer of wealth. It is a new beginning. And you can, you can, you can really change the world, but you got to have the testicular fortitude to put your neck out on the line when you'd rather not do it because, what's that, Infowars.com? It's a battle for your mind. It's a battle for your heart and soul. It's not a physical battle these days. It's, it's it, you know, the... The people who are manipulating the our, our monetary system, they are uh, they're doing it with computers. When they print out a bunch of money and put a bunch of zeros behind Goldman Sachs uh, balance sheet, there it's cyber warfare. So this is my response: deal with the gold and silver of cryptocurrency. You can come out with all your dark coins, which are cool, and, and the Moneros, and blah, 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 and all this, that, and the other thing. Cool ideas, but I think you'll be better off if you start building side chains and drive chains and all those kind of things for Bitcoin and Litecoin, because that's what, that is ethical. And if you're going to release a nickel coin, you better do it, you better take real good lessons from Charlie Lee. Because Chuck Lee did it right. Chuck Lee did it right. And I'm willing to sell my house, take my equity, take what equity I have in it, and put it into Litecoin. And that's what I'm doing. And you know what? If you are a Litecoin fan, share this. Post this. Do whatever you do. But, you know, I, I'm sorry. Sometimes I, I, I'm busy, so I don't respond to... Uh, a lot of the videos or the comments and stuff, but uh, somebody told me I need to get on Reddit and I need to get on this and that, and I'm sure you're watching, and uh, I appreciate your kind words, but I'm not a, I, I don't sit behind a computer. I never thought I'd be doing this much on YouTube, but, uh, but I'm doing my part. So what you guys have to do is do your part. If you're not making videos, share this one. Post it. Share it again and again. I hope this, this video goes viral. I'm selling my house to buy Litecoin. I don't care if I lose it all. I don't... Whatever. I've been broke before. I'll be broke again. I'm broke right now and I don't care. You know, but... What are you going to do? Hey, you fight back, you stand up, and you say, you know what, I'm tired, I'm tired as hell and I ain't gonna take it anymore. I'm done, I'm out of here. Sayonara, I'll see you tomorrow.